Hello guys, uh, so today I want to talk safety on how to use a pneumatic air gun with the compressor that you would use with it. This little pod compressor I have uh, that I'm going to demonstrate with. Um, so a couple of the features that you want to know on these pneumatic air guns. Um, there's a, a, a location in the back here where we'll actually plug our hose into. I'll demonstrate that in a second. Um, some of the safety factors you want to be aware of. Never point this gun towards somebody. Even if you're nailing in their direction, somebody off behind you, ask them to move out of the way, okay? These nails, when you fire them, uh, they'll shoot 15, 20, 30 feet with a lot of pressure in them. Somebody could get lodged with a nail in them, so be aware of that. Um, these things are almost like a weapon, like a gun. So think of it like that. Think about where you're shooting when you're using them, and when you're not using them, Make sure the air or is, is uh, disconnected so we don't have uh, pressure on it. That way when you're pushing the trigger, it won't fire, okay? The other thing we always talk about, and we hear about this all the time, is somebody walking around and boom, they hit themselves in the leg, okay? Or in the leg here, just carrying it around, okay? And they, they compress the, the, the trigger or something, just not being conscious of what you're doing. So handle these with care um, and, and think about what you're doing. Also, when you're firing, keep your hands back far enough. Um, if you've got it right up, I'll give you an example. We're gonna build this wall today. Um, one thing I do not wanna do with a gun is I definitely don't wanna have my hand here and shooting it, because uh, those nails sometimes shoot sideways through the wood. They'll hit a knot, and they'll, then they'll fire sideways, and the next thing you know, you've got a nail in your hand, okay? My personal way, I like to put a foot on it, because I've got some steel-toed shoes here that'll protect me, and uh, I still keep my feet away far enough so when I'm firing and, and shooting into the wood, okay? Now, there's some adjustments. You can adjust the depth. There's this, uh, there's this uh, catch pin here or with a nail, and it, it's actually got some teeth on it. This grabs into the wood, and you, you have to compress it and then squeeze the trigger. Now, the, to get the compression is when you push down on a surface and then squeeze the trigger, that's the proper process to shooting this gun. So what you have to do, keep your hand off the trigger. I'm just putting in the ground here, it's not, it's not loaded up. Uh, press and squeeze the trigger, that's one fire. And then you continue with that motion as you go through, okay? Um, there's a piston in here that has to be lubricated. Um, every once in a while, probably if you're using uh, an eight hour day, you're gonna to wanna to put about six drops of oil in the back of the uh, cylinder here. That oil helps lubricate the piston in here and keeps us firing and lasting for years to, to come. Now, if you're only using it, uh, you use it for maybe a couple hours, you probably can get three days out of it, three, four days, make sure you oil up again. And then they got a special oil you put in here. It's not your typical car oil or anything like that. There's a special oil designed for this uh, particular apparatus. So those are the parts. Another thing we need to do is for loading up. There's a, an arm that actually connects on the nails. I've got a rack of nails here. And the key thing here, don't put your nails in backwards. These are set, um, this is a 21 degree angle um, a nail gun. Remember, there's different angles. Make sure when you go buy your nails, check the angle. Make sure you match up to it. Now this particular gun, will shoot uh, uh, anywhere from uh, two, and a, two and a quarter to a three and a quarter inch uh, uh, nails. Uh, to put it in, this would be the correct way. Pick the angle, make sure it flows with the angle of the gun. If I was to put in backwards, it'll go in, but you can see the angle of the nails are the wrong way. So if you start it, go wrong, pull them out, put them in the correct way. This is the angle that we're looking for. And let's drop it in. If you do something wrong, it's got to catch. So if you got to get those nails out, you actually got to push this pin and then back it out and you can do it and it'll, it'll come through, okay? But I've got them in correctly. I'll drop it in. We got this arm, it's, it's spring loaded. It just helps keep the nails tight in the rack or the magazine here so everything flows and it keeps the, the nails so when you shoot them through. Now it's also got, if you get this and you clog it up, or, or you get jammed up, you actually got a couple screws you can take out. This will release and there's a, there'll be a nail in there. You can actually pull that nail out. Uh, that happens sometimes. I, I, it just it, uh, In a given day, it might happen one or two times where uh, maybe the, 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 the magazine rack wasn't good and clean or got uh, clogged up or something like that. So 
your compressor. You like to set your compressor based on your nails. If you got a two and three eighths nail, framing uh, 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 like a, a, a two and three eighths is what they use, what they call an 8D nail. Um, you want to set the pressure a little bit lower. Um, you can check it and you can also uh, practice this one before I got started. I, I just took a couple pieces of scrap and I tested it. And I wanted to blast it in there and see it, it countersunk a little bit. That's okay, that's fine. If it countersinks at a button, you really want it to countersink. Uh, probably a good uh, eighth, eighth of an inch, maybe a sixteenth of an inch into the surface. You don't want it just to lay flat and flush um, because then you got nails hanging up sometimes. Um, so we like to compress a little bit in. Uh, the range you want to shoot for, uh, for pressure, and there's a gauge here and you can adjust it. There's a uh, little adjustment right here that we can uh, turn and rotate to adjust the pressure down, up or down. And you can look at the gauge between uh, about 110, 120. Uh, I like to shoot the 8s at around 110 pounds of pressure. Uh, the 16s, I like to go in around 120 pounds of pressure. Um, I've got this machine all set up. It's running and ready to go. Keep in mind at the end of the day, people forget about this. Now, I just want to say it real quick. There's a drain nozzle on the back here. Open that drain nozzle up and let it uh, blow out the excess of air. One, it protects your compressor. Um, and you don't want to keep it under full pressure. Two, these things build up condensation, especially in North Carolina with our humidities. And you want to get that moisture out. Because guess what? Any moisture sitting in that tank, guess where it's flowing through? It's going into your gun, okay? And it's wearing the parts out inside. So make sure um, every day um, to release that, that air out of there. All right, so I'm going to load this up. I've got a wall here, and I'm going to have my camera guy come in a little tighter when I get ready to shoot these. I'll demo it. Uh, to put your hose on, there's a little compression, spring-loaded. You have to pull it back, push it in, and set it on. It'll set on these little, uh, it's like a screw point or a catch point. And so I'm going to put it on. You'll hear the air. Oops. There we go. Sometimes you have to do it twice, okay? And then this hose we got. Um, I'm working with a, a, a 3 8 hose. Um, it, it holds the pressure. Um, you can get them in different lengths. 25 foot, 50 foot, 100 foot, 150 foot. They vary in sizes, okay? So the connection's here. I'm connected here. So at this point, we're ready to start firing. I'm going to put this wall together real quick so you can see how it goes. I'm going to keep my, uh, my hands uh, back away from it. As I said earlier on, I'm going to put a foot on it, and I'm going to put a 2 by 4 requires two nails in it, okay? And I actually want to hit the center if I can. Try to avoid knots. If you've got to go over a little bit or move your nail gun over just a little bit because of a knot, go ahead. Don't move the stud over, though, okay? There's a certain point. And before I start, I'll just show you real quick. This will be for another lecture, though. Uh, my points are i got a line with an X, a line with an X, and a line with an X. So I'm putting three studs in here. Typically, you go 16 on center, 24 on center, uh, depending on what you're framing at. I just laid these out. I wanted to show you because the key thing here is I'm showing you how to nail today. So I'm going to put this together, hold it, flush it up, and make sure you flush top and bottom. Keep your hand away. Um, come off to the side. Two nails in. That's my end board. Um, if you want, you can keep moving along or you can put your other end board in. I'm going to finish nailing this together so you can see how it goes together and how quickly you can put it together as well. Uh, you can nail by hand. I'm used showing the pneumatic nailer. It's a lot smoother. I'm going to show this using my, uh, put my hand, but I'm going to hold it back. Okay.
right, as you can see, the compressor had to go on because it had to reboot itself up and get some more pressure in it. That's okay, that's fine for it to do that. When you're done, don't just set the gun and be done, uh, lay, lay it around where somebody could accidentally shoot themselves. I always, the best way to do it is disconnect, put your gun out of the way. This wall's done now. We've got a wall built in place, ready to go, set. Um, it did not take but a second to do. Um, so it's a good method. Um, just make sure you space your nails, put a little spacing on them as you go through. Um, but two nails per two by four all the way around. And then make sure you flush. And that's why I like to put a foot on it because then I'm, comp I'm laying it flat. It's, it, I got a nice smooth flat surface it's laying on um, versus sometimes just holding your hand. Um, you don't necessarily get in place. So again, guys, uh, compressor, safety glasses are important. Um, great, great gun to use over and over. It's safe if you make it safe. All right, thank you guys and have a good day.